Governor Lingle called it a difficult decision, maybe the hardest one she's made in eight years in office. She says it's not an issue for one person to decide. Everything um, had an impact on me. Uh, in the end, I came to believe that this was something I shouldn't decide ultimately for the state by myself. It was something everybody should have a chance to vote on. She says she didn't veto the civil unions bill based on her personal beliefs on marriage or her religious convictions, but on how she believes the language of the bill equates it with marriage. I'm saying that House Bill 444, because of its plain language, is in fact essentially the same because it has all the same rights, responsibilities, benefits, and protections. Lingle took about nine weeks to study the measure, gauge public opinion, and invite feedback. Her office received more than 30,000 phone calls, emails, and faxes from supporters and opponents of House Bill 444. Even though I personally do not support same-gender marriage, the reason I had gone back and forth was the arguments made by the people who supported 444 not just the, the depth of feeling that they had because that existed on both sides, but the, the persuasiveness of their argument. I thought they have good points to make and I think they're the kind of points that should be made to the broader public. Lingle says she made her decision to veto the bill last week, but she waited until the last possible day to announce it. She says to give the measure the dignity it deserves.